All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to talk about a variety of different topics during this. I think I'm going to stream for 30 minutes tonight. So welcome back to the video. But the first topic we are going to talk about is three things. Three things that I recommend for your Tesla. If you just bought a brand new Tesla or even you bought a pre-owned one, a used one, there are three specific things time and time again that I probably do for every Tesla that I've purchased or even really any vehicle at this point. It's, I've, you know, I've got a certain cadence, but there's three specific things. And what I mean by things, I mean like service, like uh, what types of things you can do to protect the paint, paint protection, ceramic, all that stuff. I have three different services that I recommend, three different brands that I recommend. And if you're in the California area, or even SoCal area, I actually have three shops or two, actually three shops that I also recommend. So thanks for watching this video and thanks for watching another stream. But before we get into that, let's roll that intro real quick. All right, so thanks for watching the stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on a Tesla at the best possible price or just really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. We, we stream for at least 30 minutes a day now. At this point, we make a ton of different variety of different buying Tesla content, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description, but more on that later. But thank you to my new newest patreon member travis f thank you for joining the patreon thanks for joining the cause thanks for supporting the channel and everything with that so the first thing so you know you just bought your brand new tesla or even your used one and you know you want to make sure that your investment or i mean i guess it's the cars are not a bad investment but you want to make sure your purchase is protected and so i get this question a lot like do i do ceramic do i do paint protection film do i even do tints to the vehicle what do i do and how can i protect protect the vehicle. So the end all be all thing is the first thing that I actually recommend is a ceramic coating. I have a specific brand that I'm about to show you on the screen in a second, but I, I recommend some sort of paint correction because, well, actually any good detail or any any shop should do some sort of paint correction before to your vehicle before you actually, uh, sorry, before you actually put on the ceramic coating. And this is the brand that I 100% recommend. It was actually recommended to a friend of mine and I've done it now three separate times on three Teslas for to, to protect the paint. So a ceramic coating is basically like a higher wax, I guess, that goes on top of it. But a proper detailer, proper installer has to wash your car first, protect the paint or remove any contaminants from the paint. I, I, mean, I guess I'm not getting too technical, but at the end of the day, you want to spend anywhere from $500 to $1,000 on this service and think of it kind of like a stronger wax at the end of the day. I've done it, of course, I did it most recently on my Model S. I did it on my Model Y before that. And I've also made some videos on this. So you can see right here, these are actually two of my videos videos right here. If you type in Dennis CW Ceramic, you can see, you know, the process with one of those. This was the most recent one and I absolutely love it. It keeps the car a lot more glossier, clean, and really it's, it's amazing. Like if you drive anywhere that has like any sort of dirt or anything like that, uh, and then you just spray it down with water and you'll see all the dirt and salt and everything just wash right off. The water kind of like beads off as well. So it's, it's 100% worth it. And if you are in like the Los Angeles area, you know, shout Shout out to 24K Shine. Uh, in Santa Ana, they you know have great work. I brought in two Teslas to them before already. You know, the great reviews and everything. Hit them up. Uh, tell them this is actually right here, my model Y. Uh, tell them Dennis sent you from YouTube, and he will hook it up for you and give you a good deal. And you can see, like, you can tell kind of from the pic pictures, it gives it a little glossy look. But at the end of the day, it protects the paint from any sort of dirt, or anything like that. And you, you know, you want to make sure your your what you purchase is a lot cleaner and more protected than so I definitely worth it. But again, pay anywhere from $500 to $1,000, maybe, you know, even $1,000 or more. But I would say around $1,000 sweet spot for most vehicles should be okay. And the second service that I recommend uh, for that has to do with in line with, of course, this paint protection uh, type of thing is if, you know, you could also do it on top of paint protection, but I recommend 
paint protection film. There's a variety of different companies out there, Expel and all this different stuff. And I actually don't recommend doing like a full car paint protection film because you can go crazy. You can literally wrap your whole vehicle in paint protection film if you want to. It's like it costs anywhere from like $6,000 if not more. Uh, so it's a full Tesla Model Y. Uh, and so, you know, you can you go crazy too. You can do like stealth colors and all this stuff, but I really don't recommend it. Like that, that's too much money at the day because 6,000 bucks, you could literally paint the whole car, you know, two or I want to say two times over again at the end. So you can see right here, that's this is a stealth PPF. And, and I just don't I recommend it. What I do recommend though, especially for Model Ys, if you were to do a paint protection film, this is the areas I would cover. You can see, I would say it's called full frontal. So it's like the full bumper, the hood, the mirrors, even the headlights. But the key thing with Model Ys is this area right here in that rear quarter panel. Uh, I, rec I made a video the other day, uh, or maybe even last week, about you know what accessories to buy, and I recommended for any Model Y buyer owners to buy mud flaps because what happens with the Model Y? It's an it's an unfortunate problem, but the wheels in the front will kick up rocks all the way to the back to like if you see the my cursor right here, and the rocks will hit it on the side of the Tesla Model Y and scratch it. And it actually happened to my Model Y performance performance, unfortunately, but that's kind of the issue it has, unfortunately. So that's why I recommend mud flaps. And I also recommend buying like a PPF area to protect the rear quarter panel. And actually Tesla, you know, Tesla Model Y has that PPF rear uh, section right there. I think it's pretty cheap, but they probably, you know, you could buy this for 50 bucks, but you want to get someone that's a professional to install because they're going to clean that area underneath the paint and all that stuff. And so that's why I recommend just trying to find a shop, you know, all in one that can do it. 24 kind. 24k shine can do ppf they can do ceramic and they also can do tint but there there is another there is another group a another store out there you can see right here please read before doing ppf this is another shop that's also highly recommended on tesla motor clubs and also another youtuber uh everyday chris just took his model x as well but you know at the end of, you know shop with a bunch of different shops to see which one you know gets the best deal and the best customer service but i do absolutely recommend 24k shine uh for ceramic because i brought two vehicles to them at this point now and they just do fantastic work so shout out to andre at 24k shine just hit him up and get the you know the dentist deal but the last service that i also recommend is tint so you know there's a variety of different window tints that are out there you can essentially go as cheap as you want and just get like a dark color but i do actually recommend spending that extra money and it's kind of spoiler alert you know Test, tinting Teslas are a lot more expensive than any other car in my experience, but I do recommend going for 3M that has like UV and IR, you know, infrared and all that stuff protection. But the, the difference with Teslas is that there's a lot more glass on these vehicles than any any other type of vehicle, so you are gonna spend more. So a Model Y can cost anywhere from 800 to to $1,000. So definitely be aware that, um, if you are shopping for a model, you know, I used to, I used to remember when I would tint car, where I would buy cars or like regular old cars and I'd spend like 200 bucks for a tint. It is not like that with the Tesla for some reason. It's always a lot more. I don't know if it's like a Tesla markup, but I think it's the end of the day. It's just more glass. It's a harder vehicle to tint because there's a lot of electronics on like the sides and the front stuff. You do not want to mess it up. And so I do have a shop if you are in the OC area. Uh, shout out to um, Jason at OC Tint Solutions in Anaheim. You know, they've actually tinted like three of my cars at this point. Same, you know, at, same kind of deal. Ask, you know, hit them up and ask for the dentist deal from YouTube. And you can see also great reviews as well. But that's if you're in the SoCal area, SoCal area for those two shops. But let me know again what you guys' thoughts on it. Do you agree with this? You know, for tint, you know, spend anywhere from a thousand. PPF, I spend anywhere from like 1500 to 2000. And at the day, they try and get, you know, I, I love my deals. You know, I do so try and you know ask for a combo deal or just ask for the dentist deal uh, on any of these shops but that's what i kind of recommend those are like the three services i would recommend for protecting the paint and all that stuff the other stuff is kind of like a little bit more maintenance i actually do recommend for every tesla that you buy and i'm also going to do this do this as well is a wheel alignment 
uh, because, you know, there are horror stories. You've probably seen it on the forums and things like that uh, on the Tesla forums, but where people will, you know, go through their tires really quickly and they, you know, they don't know why, whether it's like the wheel angle tear, you know, it's called like a camber and all that stuff. But anyways, at the end of the day, what happens is the, some of the Teslas out of the factory do not, you know, have their wheels aligned properly and they will have premature wear to the tires where you could prematurely wear it within like five, 10,000, maybe even 15,000 miles. And so you should be aware of that. I always try and recommend, you know, alignment can cost anywhere from 150 to 200 bucks. It's kind of worth that investment just to make sure it's straight and, you know, proper and all stuff. And if you have any vibrations, any stuff you like, I would definitely recommend recommend it. But uh, I would say this is like the fourth, like three and a half service I would recommend to take care and get it done early on before you put like way, you know, thousands of miles on your vehicle. So this is like the three or four services I recommend for if you just bought a Tesla or new Tesla or used Tesla. Let me know if you agree with this, you know, what's your thoughts on it? You know, I certainly try and get, I have a process now, I, you know, whenever I buy a Tesla, I bring it to those three, two or three shops and I just get it done uh, one after the numbers. But let me know what your thoughts, get your thoughts, get what your, your, your thoughts on it. I'm going to jump into some of the comments and the questions, but today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down in the description, there's a Patreon link where you can actually uh, join and support the channel. And after you support, join the Patreon, there's a variety of benefits, including actually scheduling a call with me where you can ask me any questions one-on-one -on -one about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing and test them before you do that and after you after you join the patreon you get a link to my buying guide which has links to all the resources that i use to get the best possible deal at the best possible price and right now on my patreon there's a credit union that has rates as low as three percent that's definitely interesting uh, pretty crazy that's for sure all right so let's jump into the, some of the comments some of the questions uh, let's see here uh hi chris alexis welcome welcome to the channel welcome to the stream hope you guys are enjoying oh i forgot to mention i do have a couple tinting videos as well or at least i'm pretty sure i do maybe maybe it's hidden around but this is my most recent one where i actually brought it to jason at oc tint solutions you can see like the before and after and all that stuff in the, the car i actually miss i miss the look of this model s that's for sure afra does does the model y performance qualify for a tax credit no it actually does not the Model Y performance is not because it's exactly Arvin came in with the knowledge over 55k. Liama, yo, what's up? Welcome. Is that ceramic coating DIY friendly? Uh, actually, I'm not exactly sure, but I wouldn't, you know, I've seen those DIY, those do it yourself videos on ceramic coating, but I would not recommend it. I would leave it to the professionals uh, because they need to do like a paint correction a step on top of that. And why you do a paint correction is because you remove all those swirls on top of the paint. If you ever take your Tesla out and you just take delivery, take it out on a sunny day and look at your paint. Look at it and you'll see a ton of swirls all over the paint, you know, and then you'll see like, oh, okay, that's that's why you bring it to a, a detailer. So I wouldn't recommend that, but you know, that's me. Uh, the album, yeah, I have a silly question. I currently have a VIN on place order from Model Y Performance, order on hold. Now, do they hold the current VIN or did they give it away and would I have to wait for another VIN? They give it away and you would have, to, you would not, uh, you, you would, they would give it away. John Lee did a Model 3 for 5K. Okay, yeah, 5K, 6K, yeah, basically the same. 24K coated entire car, LOL, okay. LOL, yeah, 24, like 24K gold or are you saying you went to 24K? Yeah, go and check them out. Front brow tint is a treat to yourself. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always actually get the front windshield tinted as well you know because i you know it's bright out here in, su in sunny california and so that's why i do that martha what if you lease i told them you got to remove it all before returning yes you actually do so i mean that is kind of the flip side of it or they charge you um but i i still think like a three-year lease is a long term i would still pay for the tent because it's a that's the full three years you got to be on your car uh, without, you know, and it's, it's bright out here. Uh, Sai, is the used Model 3 still where I would wait wait this whole week? Do not look at any used Model 3s or use any used Teslas. Look at it next week. Dan, no ROI for tint, PPF, or professional coding. If you lease it, the next owner will benefit. Yeah, but tint is more so like, like, I don't want to say it's like an accessibility thing, but it's just something that helps, you know, let, allows you to uh, drive better. Maybe it's and also, it's also a look thing. I love the look of how, you know, Tesla's look that are tinted and like, it's just not as bright and also protects your skin, UV rays and all that stuff. Right. Uh, Chris, I saw you did mud flap. Does it decrease the range in your opinion? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, it, it probably doesn't out. Or maybe if it does, it's like very, very, very minuscule. So I, I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry about that at all. But, uh, you know, thanks for watching the video guys. Thanks 
Thanks for jumping on the stream. Our next topic. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching another stream. Today, we're, the next topic we're actually going to talk about is... So Hyundai looks like they just released a new ad uh, regarding their Onyx 5 versus the Model Y, and it's basically shots fired. We're going to take a look at it because I thought it was kind of funny when I saw it on quick glance, but I didn't really actually get to take a look at it. But they're basically trying to compare their Hyundai Ionic 5 versus the Tesla Model Y, and it's a pretty funny ad. You know, I, you know, if you've been following the channel, if you're watching, you know, I'd like, you know, I'm a Tesla fan at the end of it because I've had, you know, three of them so far, a Model 3, a Model Y, and a Model S. You know, I'm, I'm also, I've, I might have bought another one, but at the end of the day, I also want the best possible deal. And the Ionic 5, you know, is, is probably relatively, you know, a good deal in comparison. We'll talk about that if we can, but let's first take a look at this ad because it's kind of funny. But if you're new to the channel, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on your Tesla at the best possible price or just really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. We stream for 30 minutes to an hour a day regarding Tesla content. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And so let's jump into this. So, so this is the ad. It it, it came out today and it's kind of funny. It's like it's the headlines. Is funny. So let's see if you, can you guys can you guys hear that Did that work or anyways, uh, Tesla anyways Model so basically to TLD, Ionic 5. you know, Hyundai Ionic 5 Pass. coming out, and America's best warranty, two year unlimited charge it, augmented reality, and heads up display. So of course their warranty is like what, like 10 years or something like that. They've had that for a while now because Kia and Hyundai, you know, they've had, you know, I don't it doesn't even say down here what the warranty is. And two year limited supercharging, you know, that's you know, that's probably why I was looking at it because you know the two years there really isn't a lot of EVs or there are a handful of EVs that have free charging. But the unfortunate part is this two years of unlimited charging is through Electrify America. And if you've seen any videos or if you've seen anything on social media, you know, Electrify America is a tough charging network. It's just not as easy as just showing up to a Tesla supercharger, plugging in and then just walking away. You got to electrify America. You have to fiddle with the app, you know, press start on the thing. And then 20 minutes later, it doesn't even start because I, or it doesn't even start up. I have friends that have, you know, pole stars and they always complain about the Electrify America network. And also if you're in California and Electrify America networks and charging stations get very, very full. So, you know, it's, it's maybe, maybe it's not worth it anyway. So getting into this ad, so I muted, I don't know if you guys could hear or not, but you can see right there, right after they just like flipped the switch, they switched it to model Y and they crossed out all of it. And I don't know if like America's best warranty, like, okay, maybe it's not the best. So they could have crossed it out two years of limited free charging. Okay, fine. Like they don't, they don't have two years. They had 10,000 miles of free supercharging this past December. So it's not unlimited, but you know, yeah, I get it. Augmented to reality. You know, I'm not really sure, you know, what that even means, but sure. Maybe, maybe, maybe the Ionic 5 has it and then heads up display. Yes, we know. Unfortunately, Tesla's don't have that. And that, that's kind of a miss. I would say that's like probably the only only miss that uh, Tesla doesn't have at this point with all these other companies, you know, coming up and adding the really luxurious interiors or really nice technical huge screens that go across the dash. You know, I really think that's a, you know, definitely a very interesting, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a miss that's for sure. But you know, here's another, the next scene that they show the Ionic 5 versus the Tesla Model Y and the you know, lines just crossed out. But I think this is just a hilarious ad that's just coming out, you know, shots fired with the Hyundai Ionic versus the Tesla. But you know, at the end of the day, like what what is the Hyundai Ionics price? Because you know, I'm not sure this is of course like you know, big corporations like Hyundai, they probably made this ad what six six months ago, maybe even you know, probably like six months ago, runtime before that. And so this was way before the current price drops that the Tesla Model Y and Model 3 had. So you know, now like the model, like it used to be the Hyundai Ionic was like a pretty good deal because it was like anywhere from 41 to 55k. But now that the Model Y is you know essentially cheaper at this point, it's, uh, you know, it's definitely interesting and more compelling, I would say, to get a Model Y 
because the technology like autopilot and all that stuff is a lot more built out and say and also with that super charging network with tesla but definitely some interesting stuff let me know what you guys think on this you know, ad of hyundai i think it's just hilarious that you know they're just coming out of the gate strong and trying to just like you know attack tesla but you know i you know, i am curious like how many of you that have bought a tesla recently or that were you know think are that are thinking about te buying a tesla right now are you on the fence like did you even consider like an ionic 5 at all did you maybe go drive it and check it out because i did go to drive it and check one out but uh, at the time i mean it was like what two months ago the dealer wanted like eight thousand dollars over msrp which would have made it like a sixty thousand dollar hyundai ionic 5 which at that point i was like that doesn't make paying anything over msrp doesn't make any sense so i you know of course i didn't buy it, it was actually i went with a friend to try and go check it out and i recommended it's not worth it to buy you know pay for a sixty thousand dollar ionic 5 but there also is the uh, kia ev6 which is you know similar price range but the one huge difference with the kia v6 is that it does not have free charging at least for two years i think it only has like a 30-day plan or a thousand kilowatt plan or something like that which is nearly not the same as a two-year 30 minute unlimited free charging that the ionic 5 has but let me just let's jump into some of the questions and some of the comments but you know that's some different it's definitely an interesting, interesting thing but uh before we get into that the, this video is actually sponsored by my patreon link down below in the description there's a patreon link where you can actually support the channel and there's a variety of benefits including actually scheduling a call with me where you can ask me any questions about buying a tesla selling a tesla or even financing a tesla and after you schedule the call you get a link to my buying guide which has links to all the resources that i I use to get the best possible deal at the best possible price. And right now on my guide, there is a credit union that has interest rates as low as 3%, which so definitely check it out if you are interested. So let's jump into some of the comments. Martha, PPF Ceramic Pro and Raf San Rafael does great job too. Yeah, Ceramic Pro is another brand that's highly recommended for most, but I've I stayed away from it. I the reason why I actually found uh, Gion was my friend who is like really into like detailing cars and protections and all this stuff. You know, shout out to you, Chris. You know, he really recommend he uses this product and he goes to shops that use it and he really recommends it. And I know he's my friend is a very detail oriented guy, you know, really likes nice things. And so I listened to his recommendation and it's been great so far. The two or three cars that I've had it. What if I'm going to change color after the MSRP cap? Yeah, this should be fine as long as it's still, you know, within the guidelines of the tax credit. Yeah. I had it on my Model 3 and I am regretting it. Oh, okay, dang. What, what did you, uh, uh, you're talking about the blackout? Interesting. P better if you get PPF. Okay, yeah. Roughly about 900 to 1500 for ceramic. Yeah, I've also has paid as low as like 500 bucks for Gion ceramic. So it can really range. And the 500 bucks I paid, it was great work as well. Um, so definitely you know for sure uh prasad can you make a uh sorry if i messed that up can you make an updated video on financing options uh yeah do you, do you, i mean i certainly can um but uh, yeah i'm gonna make one probably not just yet right away uh probably uh in the maybe later this weekend uh for sure that's a white interior beware if you have kids and that's the thing yeah you could do you could do ceramic on the exterior and interior as well so you know it's it's uh it's not just an exterior thing like you can get it on the seats the rims the windows and all that stuff what's the what's the cost in ceramic at yeah, anywhere from 500 to eight, maybe even 1500 at some shops but i would pay about a thousand dollars at the end of the day but yeah this next topic what we are actually going to talk about it is going to be an interesting topic because I know a lot uh, and a lot of people you know are interested in this or you know kind of waiting to see what's going on but welcome back to the stream welcome back to another video today we are going to talk about are more discounts coming for the Tesla for Tesla's this year what you know kind of some indicators I've been thinking about since these last discounts actually happened you know it's funny like I'm always thinking what's what's gonna happen next but it possibly could happen and a sliver of me a part of me does think that we are we're just at the beginning of this maybe at the cusp of this and the Tesla's could get even you know even more cheaper or inexpensive so you know we're going to talk about it and i want to hear what you guys thinks as think as well in the comments because you know it, it might be an interesting year for tesla especially if we believe some of the things that tesla has come out and said so before we get into that 
My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on a Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description, but more on that later. All right, so you know me, if you've been following the channel, when I have a question of a thought, I put a poll out. I put a poll out on the community and just see on the YouTube. And the question was, do you think more Tesla discounts slash price traps are coming this year, thought emoji. And an overwhelming 47% said, nope, it's a slick deal right now. And I kind of agree, it is a pretty slick deal. Uh, but 31%, a second majority said, yep, it's only the beginning. 11% said maybe. 6% said if Giga Austin ramps up to full production, yes. And of course, 5% just said let's see results. And so, of course, Giga Austin, you know, we just made a video about that pretty recently. They've just ramped up to 3,000 units a week, and their goal is 75,000 units in the first quarter. So, you know, that could be a lot of Model Ys coming into the pipeline. And what we can, what we know and what we see so far is that if you go to like waitingfortesla.com, which is a third party aggregator site, shout out to them, we can see that pretty much any time, any time a Model Y drops for sale or becomes available for sale that's under $55,000 because that qualified for the tax credit, boom, it disappears. So, that seems to be a sweet spot, a price point. So Tesla's seeing that, right? They Tesla can see that they've got 334 plus because we know Tesla manipulates the inventory. They can see that they have a lot of Model Ys that are kind of stuck at this threshold, right? Stuck in inventory because it's over 55,000 because, you know, why would anybody buy this car when it doesn't qualify for the tax credit for the set of extra 7,500? So Tesla sees that, right? So, you know, they could tinker, right? They could adjust the price a little bit, try and reduce it even more, but they have to adjust the MSRP for it to even qualify for the tax credit. Because if you don't know, you know, the IRS came out, the Treasury came out, what, like December 30th? at the time and they said that the model y five seat has to be under fifty five thousand dollars in an msrp so options and all that stuff to qualify for the seventy five hundred tax credit but this is only until march because the treasury and irs are supposed to release more guidelines in march and so that's why it says on tesla websites the seventy five hundred dollar tax credit is for eligible vehicles in model three or model y for deliveries until march of 2023 so the question is is tesla going to release more discounts this year like are we you know what's the temperature what's the guideline and this is all we can kind of base our you know our speculation i guess on this so tesla or elon came out pretty recently this is an article from seeking alpha he came out pretty recently this is actually wrote it on january 11th and elon said that uh, he prefers volume over margins so specifically that's profit margin right and but he wants to sell more cars and that makes sense right i mean in 2021 they sold 900,000 vehicles give or take 2022 they sold 1.4 million vehicles and so you no know, maybe i mean 2024 they have lofty goals i mean this first quarter's goals of 2023 is like 420,000 units which is more already than what they sold in quarter four of last year so you know the needle the analysts and everyone is trying to push tesla to sell more and so they have higher goals at the na so you know Elon, the sales team and all that stuff, you know, they, they, they there's only really one way to sell more cars, whether it's building a good car or building a car where people feel like it's a better value for what they're paying for. And that's why there's been so many Tesla vehicles sold you know, I feel like that's why people buy cars, right? Because they feel like they're getting more value than what they're paying for it. So that's the first thing. That's our indicator. Of course, we do have the earnings call coming up soon on January 25th. Of course, we're going to be watching and listening, but that's going to be, you know, a good, interesting time where Tesla, the sales executives and Elon, they're going to get grilled and asked, you know, why did you discount in December? You know, why did you discount in January you know, 14th? You know, what's the motive? What's what's going on here? Are you going to do more discounts throughout the rest of the year? So that, that's going to be a very you know interesting call because they're going to give us guidance. They're going to give us, you know, maybe a you know a history of or a prediction of what is going to happen. We need to listen clearly because if they say anything, you know, like our goal is to sell vehicles we don't care about price or something to that effect, or we maybe we re 
between between the lines, but I can imagine there are going to be more discounts. There might be a, you know the start of more discounts. And you gotta remember, Tesla works in quarters, or like like most sales organizations. And so these are the months that you have to be aware about. The the end, basically the last month of every quarter. So that's March. Uh, what March, April, May, June, that's March, that's June, that's September, and that's December. If we look historically, this past December, all the discounts came out in December from the 3750 discount to the 10,000 supercharger miles to then the $7,500 discount. So are more dis Tesla discounts coming? I would say if I, you know, if I was a betting man, Probably like 50% as a betting man but at this point. You know, it could tip to maybe more, but we don't know. And then you got to remember, like way back when, way back when, you know, in the early days of Tesla, you know, the, you know Elon wanted a $35,000 Tesla Model 3. That was his goal. He felt like that would, you know, be the way to get Tesla to be sell more volume. And so don't forget, like that's, you know, maybe that's not his price point in his head anymore, but you know, thirty-five thousand does have a nice ring to it, and so does twenty-five thousand. That's why they talked about you know the Tesla Model Two or whatever the Q or whatever it is at twenty-five thousand. And they are going to talk about their next generation of vehicles on their investor day. So there's a lot of things kind of just like on the horizon. So if you know, if of course it's always best to be patient, especially as we get you know throughout the year. But if you still need a car, you know, and at the end of the day, you want to buy when it's most comfortable to you. If you can you know, be okay with the monthly payment or whatever the parameters or, you know, there's a lot, of, you know, if Tesla keeps going down in price, there's things that will outweigh that decision. Like if you have a vehicle that you need to sell or trade out of, the value of that is going to go keep going down. If you're going to be financing, you know, interest rates are going up. Like all these great deals that credit unions had in December, you know, they're going to disappear at some point. And even the ones that we currently have on the Patreon, so Patreon group for all the supporters, you know, that might disappear at some point. So, there's things kind of outweighing it. So you have to figure out the balance for all that. And the last thing like is our indicator of, you know, what, you know, how Tesla or more, how, why more discounts might be coming is Tom Zhu. So Tom Zhu is the global, currently the global sales executive. He was a Tesla China sales executive. And I guess maybe because he did a good job and, you know, spoiler alert, he just basically discounted vehicles in China. Maybe because he did a good job, you know, Elon and the team have now made him global, global sale. Glo what's the title? Zoo is now overseeing global automotive production, sales, and service. Quote, a level of responsibility, arguably second only to chief executive officer, Elon Musk. So maybe they're testing this right now with this massive discount across the board on, you know, Jan that happened a few days ago. And, you know, who knows? They could get even more aggressive as they need to hit more goals. And I guess the last and final indicator of all this is if they hit their quarter one or if they get close to their quarter one analyst goal. I think right now, I think I last saw somewhere it's like 420,000 the units that they have to sell in quarter one. If they get close or if they, you know, sell, if they miss, then that is going to be a huge indicator or a huge indicator of the economy and Tesla product and also a huge indicator of the price of Tesla vehicles. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, the last thing I guess is there, you know, there is this Tesla price history tracker, which shows all the historical prices that Tesla has ever charged for any of the vehicles, the Model 3, Y, S, and X. You know, we'd like to take a look at this from time to time to see, you know, how, you know, what's the range that Tesla can do. But seeing this past discount that was like $13,000 on a Model Y long range, I'm you know, I'm not even sure like this is a good indicator before it because like some of the vehicles like the Model 3 performance and the Model Y performance have never been as low as they've ever been at their current price right now. But looking at the Model 3 standard range and long range, they still could be a little bit lower, at least according to this range. And also the Model Y long range, the current price is 52,990. The cheapest it's ever been or least expensive it's ever been is 49 thousand dollars so you know definitely some pretty interesting stuff out there we're going to jump in some of the comments and the questions but before we do that this video is actually sponsored by my patreon link down below in the description there is a patreon link where you can support the channel and there's a variety of benefits including actually scheduling a call with me where you can ask me any questions one-on-one -on -one about buying a tesla selling a tesla or even financing a tesla and after you schedule the call you get a link to my buying guide which has links to 
to all the resources that I use to get the best possible deal at the best possible price. And right now, oh my God, there's a credit union that has interest rates as low as 3%. So definitely check it out if you're interested. But let's jump into the comments. But thank you. Thank you all for jumping in today. I know this today was a little bit later stream than usual. You know, tomorrow we'll probably stream about this time as well and also Thursday. So thank you for jumping in. Thank you for hitting the like button, the subscribe and all that and, and commenting. You know, I definitely appreciate it. It goes a long way. Yang, I believe not. Does Eric, does PPF increase the trade in value? Absolutely not. So PPF, I guess that's the one thing I forgot to mention. Like if you, PPF, I only recommend if you're going to keep the car four to five years plus. Uh, Sai, good night. See you later. Heads up. If you guys want ceramic coating, there are two companies out there that has PPF with ceramic coating P infused. It is better to get that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's also good too. Um, but uh, I think the best, it's still, I feel like the best is still doing PPF and then ceramic coating on top of that. Rose, they need to also introduce an SUV in the 70K range. Mercedes dropping the EQS model in USA starting at 74K. It's stunning. Ooh, interesting. I, I've seen videos of that EQS. I don't, it looks like a, I mean, I, I was going to say it looks like a big egg, but I guess so does the Model X look like a big egg. Uh, it's okay. It's okay to me, I guess. But 74k, interesting. That's a that's an in. Uh, I like that price point. I mean, that's gonna force Tesla to lower their price point, unless the EQS is like a Model Y competitor. But that's the thing. Like a lot of these, you know, the the Mercedes, the BMWs, they got really interesting interiors. Like look how like this is like a one massive huge screen, and you know, definitely. Definitely looks nice uh, or different at least. Hellcat, will there be a problem for people who drive on the faster side? I heard they track your scores. Yeah, you're talking about Tesla insurance? They do, yeah. That's that's why I don't recommend Tesla insurance. But uh, yeah, Justin, is that article adjusted for inflation? Yeah, that's true. Like 35,000 back in 2020 versus 35,000, you know, adjusted for inflation. Yeah, I, I like that. That's a good point. Yeah, so maybe it's like, maybe it's like a $42,000, which that's basically where it's at right now. Or as I think they're going to change the body size of the Model Y next year in order to compete with other vehicles that are better quality. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, the Model 3 Highlined uh, project. I think it's slated for later this year, at least what that's the rumor is. But the Model Y, I would say it's another year or two out, maybe even two years, because I think it still has to be out for like five years total. Because the Model 3 came out in what, 2017, 2018? And now there's a potential refresh later this year. So that's what, six years? The Model Y came out 2020. So we're like, we're probably thinking like 2025, 2026, if we were to follow that like six, six year guidance and stuff like that when do i think hardware 4.0 is coming out i actually have no idea but there's always going to be a hardware 3.54 there's always going to be something next with tesla and all that stuff what is the return policy for tesla i don't believe there is one unfortunately there used to be but not anymore alexis use tesla model 3 inventory is getting pretty high it used to be 150 now 340 oh deals are coming wait wait a few more days alexis that's what i'm saying do you think the January March time frame is still valid? Yeah, I would say so. And there seems to be a lot of inventory, um, so you you should be able to get one. Alexa, we're gonna talk about how lame used prices are. Ha, still too high. Yeah, exactly. Wait one more week. I think that's that's where it's gonna be. That's for sure. Just cancel my Model Y order. A bit the bullet on a 2018 Model X long long range day. I hope it was the right choice. Yeah, uh, you know, I don't really recommend you know buying those older Model Xs because they they're a little bit more problematic in my opinion, and also. Uh, you know, I when, when people ask me that question, I say, hey, go go drive a new Model Y or a new Model 3 and then go drive the new older Model S or Model X because I did that and I couldn't handle like the old screen on the Model X. But at the end of the day, you know, more it's way more vehicle and you want to do what you can afford at the end of the day. You don't want to, but you know, if you need this, if you absolutely, absolutely need that third row in space for your family and all that stuff, then yeah, that would 100 make sense. Chris, is ceramic coating really worth it? I heard it doesn't last very long. It depends on the installer, depending on how many coats, and also depends on the maintenance as well. Uh, you know anything about those? Uh, there we go. Dennis, what PPF have you tried? I'm debating the Kavaka brand or Expel. I've never tried Kavaka. I've tried Expel, uh, but I have no idea about Kavaka as well. But yeah, can you make an updated auto loan and interest video? Yes, that's on my list. I will do that this weekend for sure. VM Nista, will we see the Cybertruck this year? I don't think so, but uh, I don't know at the end of the day. Um, uh, they do say at the end of 2023, but I think they'll probably like trickle it in for maybe like a couple 
maybe a couple you know, units, but I don't see it's going to be full production. Lisa, we watched your video on the tax credit. Still confusing. Is the credit applied to the taxes owed or is it applied based on the taxes paid? Yeah. So, I mean, I get the, the whole tax credit thing is like super confusing with all this stuff. But it's basically this. What I was trying to sum up in the video is if you're single and you make around $75,000 of W-2 income, you pay give or take $7,500 in federal tax and you get that right back. If you start to add more elements like uh, if you have children, if you're married and all that stuff, you basically have to raise that income level a little bit more because all those other credits will then like lower your um, federal tax liability. It's basically more about how much you, how much tax you pay, how or how much tax you're supposed to pay as a person, and then you get a seventy five hundred dollar credit back. If you make like forty, fifty, thirty thousand dollars as W two income, you're not getting that full seventy five hundred back because you don't pay seventy five hundred dollars in federal taxes because you just don't make enough to pay seventy five hundred in taxes. Taxes. Hopefully, like clears it up. I know it's like really confusing and all that stuff, but um, hopefully that clears up. You basically have to make it. You have to make the money to then pay the federal taxes to then get it back. If you make zero dollars, you make twenty thousand dollars. You're not getting the full seventy five hundred dollars back at all. I got a v VJ. Welcome. I got a delivery window for Model Y January nineteenth. Second, should I apply for auto loan? Uh, that's no. Yeah, you should. I, I usually recommend waiting until you get a VIN, but um. Yeah, it's tough because usually you want you, third, auto loans only last 30 days. And so you don't want to apply too early. But at the same time, you know, that seems to be the right sweet spot. But I do provide one on one customized buying and financing support to my Patreon members. Actually, that's the other benefit I had is in the Patreon, I respond to all DMs on customized questions, one on one questions that you have about buying a Tesla or financing a Tesla. So definitely check it out at the Patreon link down below. But thanks for watching the stream. Thanks. Uh, please hit that like if you enjoyed it. We reviewed, you saw all those tabs. We reviewed a variety of different stuff today. So hopefully you guys, uh, you know, found it interesting. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like. Or let me get one more. Eric, could you also do a video on the eligible used EVs that qualify for the tax credit? Basically any EV that is under $25,000 that you buy from a dealer, a private dealer, you know, big dealer, any dealer, anybody that has a dealer license. But thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like if you enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.